Now moving down to the thigh muscles. And we're going to stretch these muscles here. From the side. At first, you may not be flexible enough to do the whole of this exercise. So just gently walking back on your hands, like so. Okay? Show it from the other side. Just at first, gently walking back as far as you feel comfortable. You'll feel a gentle stretch on these muscles here. As you develop and progress, you can go back further and further still. And another very good development exercise for the lumbar area is as an advancement of that, from a kneeling position, arching the back and maintaining that arch. Holding the arch back and going back over and forward. Show you from the other side. Holding that arch, going back over and over. And over. This is excellent for the lumbar area and the muscles surrounding that, that girdle there. And now we want to get more flexibility into this area. And you may have seen cats or even dogs performing this exercise on the carpet. So from a sort of hands and knees position, we're going to extend the spine, this part of the spine primarily, up as high as you can. And then to extend it this way. Again, flexing totally this lumbar area of the spine. And now, to gently start to work some of the kinks out of the spine, we've extended it in the previous exercise and flexed it. And now we want to rotate it gently. This is a gentle approach to what some practitioners, osteopaths and chiropractors do when they actually make low number adjustments. But it's a very safe exercise to do and get rid of a lot of tightness in this area. So from this position, we've gone up and down, taking one leg, bending it up like so, and rotating over like that. Taking the leg up and rotating. And depending on which area of the spine you want to influence, you can change the degree of angle on the legs. exercise is called the easy posture and it is in fact very easy but it has far-reaching benefits simply sitting with the legs crossed like this is practiced in the east widely it's only the west that uses chairs to sit on for any length of time so I suggest that people should sit like this for five minutes in any one hour Especially if you're sitting watching a TV program or practicing your favorite hobby or game or reading a newspaper even. Just sit like this for five minutes in any one hour. And it starts to re reverse some of the effects of sitting in chairs and sitting in cars and at office desks. Very, very easy exercise to perform, but has far-reaching effects. The next one leads on from this, and it's the inner thigh lengthener. You simply place the soles of the feet together and just allow the knees to go apart. Now, you may not be that flexible at first. So we'll start from this position, take one leg down, so you've got halfway there, and then gently push the other one. And eventually you'll find that both muscles will go down. Don't try to push like this. That causes structural damage to the muscles and is the wrong way to exercise. And now an exercise again that is very simple. And again, you may equate this with Aborigines or Indians as they sit round the campfire 
having a talk or whatever, sometimes even having a meal. And this is called the ancient squat. Simply squatting down like that. It relieves many strains in the low lumbers, helps the knees and helps the whole balance of the spine and body to integrate. Although this looks easy, you'll find that even 30 seconds is quite sufficient at first. So practice cautiously, slowly working up to anything from one to two minutes performed daily. It has, again, far-reaching effects. Now onto something a little more advanced, but very easy to work up to, and it's called the spinal twist. Again, looking at the spine, it's very easy to flex the spine in both directions. What it doesn't get much of is exercise of a rotary fashion. Now, as you move the top vertebra of the spine, the bottom vertebra go the opposite way in counterbalance. So it's a good way to exercise the muscles in the way that they actually work. This is achieved through the spinal twist. Simply take a leg, we'll take the right leg, and place it at the heel under the buttock. Place the ankle at the left over the knee. And this may be as far as some people get. If you can manage that okay, start to get the elbow over the knee and gently pushing. The next step is to get hold of the actual foot, taking the opposite hand, the free hand, around the spine, and finally turning and twisting in the opposite direction. I'll turn around and do that exercise so that you can see the twist performed on the actual spine. Again, it has a tremendous loosening benefit on the hip area as well as the rotary muscles of the spine being freed off and exercised. The next section is some of the inverted postures that may be a little bit athletic for beginners, but is certainly well worth the practice to develop into. We give tuition on the courses for these specifically. So the first one is the headstand. and the headstand with the twist. Again, achieving this rotary exercise of the spine, but in the inverted posture with no gravity and allowing this benefit to occur. And the other inverted posture is the shoulder stand, which has a tremendous stretching effect on this muscle here near the trapezius, which again causes many postural faults leaning over desks and typing and even driving, which then create headaches when we get home on an evening. To get into the shoulder stand, we simply roll back, form a stable base, That's tremendous for this area here. And as with all inverted postures, you're getting a good flow of blood from the heart up to the head, clearing out toxins and congestion, freeing off the head and mind. And now, again, a very simple exercise for the abdominal area. <laughs> what we do sit-ups, normal full sit-ups, exercise the muscle in here which is not designed to pull the body all the way forward. It's called the source muscle. And we actually tighten it up and then cause lumbar problems in many, many cases. This exercise doesn't involve that sort of problem. It's called the lean back exercise and we bend the knees so the emphasis of the work is placed right here. Simply crossing the arms and leaning back. Just lean back as far as you feel comfortable and hold that for several seconds. When you start to feel an abdominal quiver, just coming out of the exercise and then repeat it several times. 
And from this position, the next one we want to do is we've started to free off the spine and the sacrum. And so now we're going to gently rock on the sacrum itself. This is simply achieved by just placing the whole of the body's balance on the sacrum and very gently rocking on it. 